What's poppin' fight world? You rockin' with your boy. So it's Friday, man. We waiting for the weigh-in, man. We wanna see how your boy Tank Davis is looking. We wanna see how my boy Gamboa is looking, man. This fight is gonna be a good fight, man. I think we got two guys who are evenly matched. I think, yeah, we got a guy that's a little bit older. You understand me? But we got a guy that's older that has experience. We got a guy in Tank Davis that haven't been over the hump. He haven't been in the ring with anybody elite. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, going back for this whole week, I've been watching Tank Davis fights because I'm betting bigger. And you know what I mean? I'm going to get to you guys in the comment section. I hear y'all. We're going to get to you in a few. But here when I tell you, man, you understand me? Um, You know, Tank Davis, I'm watching him, right? And I'm listening to the commentators. And they keep saying, listen, yeah, Tank is good. Tank is fast. Tank is strong. But where's the jab? How does he set up his punches? Every fight that he's in, he's knocking guys out. You understand me with a hook or uppercut? He gets them by the ropes. But we don't see elite, you know, boxing skills from this kid, right? And this is what I've been screaming, you know, for the longest. And I'm just, I'm like, okay, I'm not bugging, nor am I biased. I see a kid that's talented, but don't have the fundamentals to take him over the edge to beat the Lomachenkos, to beat the Garys, to beat the Lomas. You see what I'm saying? To beat the Farmers, these type of fighters. Because I keep saying, and I'm watching the film, and I'm like, doing the film study. I'm like, you know what, man? This guy, you know, he doesn't shoot a jab to where he's, you know, setting up a shot. He doesn't cut the ring off, you understand me, to corner his opponent, to go to the body, go upstairs, you know, set up shots from different angles. He got the speed, he got the power, he got the combinations to do it, but he doesn't do any of that, man. We're looking at a guy that's one-dimensional. We're looking at a guy that's going in that ring just fighting off of pure athleticism and pure, you know, in the hood, we just got guys that are just good, right? They don't really even have to train. They just good at what they do, you understand me? So, like, for me, I was a ball player we don't get too deep into it man but i didn't use i didn't have to train to 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 become good right i had to train to become elite i i i, I became elite but that's when i figured out that bo basketball is a thinking man sport not just physical and what you could do on the court you have to think your way through at the end of the day man i'm telling you look gamboa got a good jab he's fast he's mobile he's quick he's side to side he can he can give you levels and he can match tank with speed and foot footwork so for me this is an even match for me this is a no-brainer i don't understand what's wrong with you guys man we're gonna see an upset tonight i mean saturday night do you understand what i'm saying because i'm trying to tell you this two things is gonna happen either we're gonna win on uh, on a 12 round decision or we're gonna upset this boy you understand me we're gonna upset this boy to where when we when the, when the fight is over, we're going to say, yo, Tank got exposed. <laughs> you think what I'm saying? Like, I want you to come back to the video and say, yo, yo, CBT, that dude over there, you know, the, the prediction king, he said, he said that, bro. He going to get exposed and not because he's trash. It's because he's not a good fighter, right? He's, he, he's an athlete. Right? You understand me? He got natural boxing ability, but he's not elite. Right? And he doesn't train to where he's setting up shots like Floyd. Right? Setting up shots. You understand me? Like a farmer. You know, you know, holding this ground to where, you know, he's putting you in that matrix type of uh, thing that your boy Lomachenko brings to the table. You see what I'm saying? Slipping the side, sliding, dipping it, and moving and putting you in positions where he can be dominant, right? You see what I'm saying? The smaller fighter in Lomachenko, man, this is what he brings to the table. And I'm telling you right now, you know, what beats Tank Davis is hand speed. Not just hand speed, you have to... You have to lead and you have to throw combinations. If you throw combinations, watch indie fighter Tank Davis. When these BC level guys, these cab drivers that he's been in the ring with, out he, yo, they throwing twos and threes and fours at him, right? He get hit with the three all the time. Meaning, you know, throw a three punch combination, he get hit with the second or the third one. Easy early. And I keep saying. And then when he's getting, you know, when someone's throwing at him, throwing a, a combination, he freezes. He just point like freezes, and then he tries to counter once they finish unloading. Now, you may say, okay, that's good. He's, maybe he's playing defense, and he's slipping and dipping and then countering. No, bro. He's in the pocket, you understand me, taking it on the shoulder, taking it on the chain, taking it to the, to the body, and then he counters. What I'm telling you is, if Gambo and his team is smart, they watch the film, they understand Tank Davis is a natural-born counterpuncher.
That's all he really knows how to do. He doesn't know how to lead because he doesn't have an educated jab. He's not front foot dominant effective. He doesn't cut the ring off. So you have to sit in the middle of the ring ex and, and, and allow Tank to come to you, right? And then you allow Tank to come to you with the fast skills and athleticism that Gamboa got. You counter the counter puncher, right? And you move. Gamboa, you better have your stamina up, baby, because all you need is legs. Because you got the speed. Naturally, the first four rounds should go to you. Because this guy is not that good. Allow Tank to get frustrated. He's in Atlanta. He want to show out and show up. So, you allow him to get frustrated. But you got to allow him to come to you. So, the pressure is on Tank to perform. The, pr the pressure is on Tank to land something crazy after my boy Gamboa softened him up a little bit there. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you guys, man. I know Gamboa ain't the guy that fought Terrence. But he is the guy, right, that got the speed and athleticism. If you look at his last three fights, he showed. He still got it. He, he, he showed he's still elite. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to call him Cheney Gamboa. But if you get hit with a nice shot, look, come on. Terrence Crawford is a beast. He got hit by Terrence Crawford, bro. You understand me? Like, you guys act like if you don't get hit, you know, uh, clean on the chin, a guy shouldn't go down. No, a guy should go down, bro. Point blank, period. So, at the end of the day, man, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that's true that he's chinny. I believe he got hit, sweet, clean, and that's how I go down. But uh, Tank got power, but Tank don't got the power in the middle of the ring. Tank ain't got the power to uh, counter punch you and knock you out. Tank don't got one hit of quitters. Tank is a cumulative type of puncher, a uh, power puncher that needs to throw four or five combinations to get you up out of there. Point blank, period. So. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys, man. The, look, this kid, Tank, is good. But I know he's not educated. I know he's not smart in that ring. I remember uh, y uh, yesterday I was watching um, Seconds Out. And, 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 and Raheem was like, yo, so tell me what have you done up until this point, up until today, that w your improvement. What have you improved in what type of skills or what was the game plan to bring to the table for Gamboa? Being that you have history, being that Gamboa is a little bit different than everybody you've been in the ring with under the big lights. What have you been doing? And Tank Davis avoided the question. And, you know, it's difficult to deal with Tank Davis, man, because he, he kind of special, man. Like, he don't speak proper English. He remind me of some Spanish dude that just know a little bit of English and is broken. But this kid is American from Baltimore. How do you not know how to speak and give me a complete sentence, man? Like, I don't understand it. Like, Canelo and the rest of those dudes, they get a pass because they don't understand English. But he should be able to understand the question, answer the question, and give me a complete sentence, man. Good God. He ain't been, so this guy, I mean, how is he punch drunk? He haven't even been in the ring with anybody to get punch drunk. Like, what's going on with this guy's speech? Talk to that dude, man. But I'm going to tell you right now, this guy avoided the question. And all I'm saying is, and then the way he answered it, it was like, well, you know, Gamboa going to bring his best. I'm going to bring my best. And that's all we can do. And we got to wait to see what's going to happen in the ring. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I said it way better than he said it. And I'm just off the dome piece like you dig but that's what he said <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm like okay maybe he didn't understand the question Raheem looked at him like all right well okay next question you dig so I'm like it is what it is but the, the, the question was great because what have you done maybe you can articulate to us what are you doing to improve and all I believe, I don't have much faith in, t in Tank Trainer right now because Tank don't bring anything to the ring that's special, anything to the ring that's different. So for me, it's like, okay, Tank comes in the ring and he counter punches way to victory, get the guy to the ropes, and then he goes for a four punch combination and get the guy out of there. He shows that he's quick. He shows that he's first. He shows that he got a good body attack. He's not afraid to get in the fire. So like, like I said, this guy got, he got keys to victory he got keys but he just haven't showed me anything that's masterful skillful 
right? Show the jab, count off the jab, cut the ring off, go to the body, turn, slip. You understand me? Get back in the pocket. What do you want to be? A counter punch or a dominant uh, front foot forward fighter? Are you going to be in the middle of the ring or are you a guy that needs to get a guy to the ropes? Well, cut the goddamn ring off. You see what I'm saying? Like, these are the things that I haven't seen from this guy. And this is the reason why I believe my boy Gamboa going to take this 12 round sweet victory. Now, I know that's that the cause is against him because it's TMT promotions, it's Showtime, and all that, like that, there. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's either going to be uh, Tank Davis win by robbery or it's going to be uh, my boy Gamboa going to uh, upset the world. This is the time that you want to bet with CBT. This is the time you want to listen to CBT. This is the time, man, because you're going to be missing in action. What they say about Lotto, if you're not in it, you won't be, you won't have an opportunity to win it. You dig what I'm saying? Rock with your boys and subscribe to the channel. Peace.